Vitus riparia, riverbank grape. This is a climbing vine up to 75 feet tall and really has very few limits on what it can or will climb or how tall it will get. It's usually limited by what it can scramble over. It's a climbing vine with forked tendrils opposite of the leaves and the vine itself becomes woody after the first year. This can easily smother other nearby plants. Foliage is deciduous and leaves are alternately arranged. The leaf is simple with three major lobes with a large gap between the middle and the lower lobes. Overall, the leaf tends to be heart-shaped with sharp teeth along the lobes. Leaf margins can be hairy and the entire leaf can be hairy when it's young, although this hair may disappear with age. Leaf petioles may be reddish in color. Ornamental features include brown to brown-red mature bark, which shreds with age. New growth tends to be yellow-green in color and will turn brown with maturity. These produce a berry, quarter inch to a half inch in size, and will start green but will ripen to blue or black and often have a white bloom present. They appear in the typical grape clusters. Berries are often sour until after the first frost, then becoming sweet to semi-tart. Cultural information for Vitus riparia. These are hardy from zones 3 to 9, that's Canada to Texas, and is the most geographically spread Vitus in North America. They are tolerant of full sun to part shade, they'll do best in full sun, and will produce the most fruit under full sun conditions. They are tolerant of a wide range of soil pH, 5 to 8, acidic to alkaline. They do have a problem with powdery mildew and are bothered by Japanese beetle. They are native in Iowa, eastern, central, western USA, and Canada. Again, this is the most widespread Vitus species in North America. These can often be considered a weedy or an invasive pest, although it is native throughout the US and Canada. A much more controlled growth pattern occurs in the shade and with other plant competition. In full sun, it can be very aggressive and completely overwhelm surrounding plants. Vitus riparia is an important food source for wildlife. The fruit are edible, but there are also poisonous lookalikes that grow in similar conditions. Make sure you can properly identify Vitus riparia before eating it.